situation and this position where I'm sitting looks a little wild, but my phone been dead all day and I'm supposed to drop a video. So here I am. Um, I'm, this video is not going to be that long. Um, I just wanted to come on here and just talk about manifesting your dreams. Um, sometimes we can be like in toxic situations and in things that happen to us in life that can mess up the things that we want to do in life. And the key to manifesting your dreams is strictly thinking positive. Like some people think that you cannot be positive every day. You can. As soon as that negative thought comes your way, you have to hurry up and do something that's going to make you feel positive. For me, it's always dancing. It's always listening to music. It's finding at least one thing. Is there like a light? Okay. It's at least like finding like one thing to be grateful for you know like we have so much to be grateful for and you'll realize when you're grateful for like the smallest thing you see a difference in your aura you see a difference in your surroundings everything we think becomes our energy and that energy is what's man what manifests like people think when you manifest it's all about what you think, what you think, what you think, what you think. You can say I'm rich, but you don't feel rich. Therefore, you're not going to be rich. So it's like if you say I'm rich, you have to act like you're rich and feel the energy of being rich. Therefore, you will be rich and you'll manifest things. Like I've manifested things um, in my lifetime and I look at how I received those things and it was all in the energy. It was all in the energy of um, the feeling of it. So... <clears throat> When you manifest, it's basically you have a thought. So let me say, like, for instance, um, a pair of shoes or something. Um, you want a pair of shoes. So you think about it. You imagine it. And you actually pretend, like, almost be in the energy of pretending like you have, yeah, like you have the shoes already. And then you let it go. Kind of like when you know how people say, like, give it to God, um, let it go, give it to God and forget about it if, if you already have it why are you still thinking about it if it's already yours why are you still thinking about it the only thing you can do is just act like you already have it and then it's going to show up in your life and that's what i've learned about manifesting you know you guys know my situation from my last video you guys know the situation that i'm in and basically i have to manifest my way up out of there <laughs> I have to manifest my way up out of there. So what I'm, you know, I want to show you guys in another video. Because this one, I'm going to keep it short. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But I did say I was going to drop a video. So like I said, here I am. But um, how I have to gather my situation, you guys are thinking positive. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be so much worse than what it is. And I'm grateful for the smallest of things. You know, I find the time to get out the house, come see my mother. And spend time with my mom like one thing um i realized about your mom is the way you are with your mom determines how you how your life is going to be like the woman that brought you into the world even if they're not a good mother even if they may have hurt you in the past or did things to you that you might not like approve of um that's still your mom and you still have to give them respect and that is another way your life will be blessed by respecting your mom it talks about that in the bible so it's like <clears throat> for me Having a closer relationship with my mom has healed me in ways I couldn't even imagine, you guys. It has healed me in ways that I couldn't even imagine. And it also has made me and my daughter closer. And um, I feel like that's key to have people around you that you love and appreciate and cherish. Even if you and that person, I mean, that's your mama. Your mama, like, I don't care what's happening. Like, find a way, find a way to make peace with that. Because that's your mama. Like, come on, that's the, that's the person that brought you into this world. All respect to, to that person. Um, that gave up their body, you know what I'm saying? They gave up their time and all types of stuff to nurture you and make sure you was good. Fathers do the same thing. I'm not saying that fathers don't, but the woman is who um, basically is a portal to how human race got here. The woman is a portal to humanity. So it's like, there's so much respect there. So back to manifesting, it starts off as a thought. I don't know where I went with that. I guess I'm thinking about um, something else, but... <laughs> um. Yeah, so basically, um, I have to manifest my way out of the situation. And sometimes when you manifest, you cannot doubt. It's kind of like when you pray for something and then you don't have faith. That's the same thing with manifesting. You cannot 
want something, feel that energy of it, and then doubt that you're not going to get it or start thinking negative. You basically messed up your whole manifestation. You basically got to start from the beginning and um, get your energy back up. You know, you, your your vibes has everything to do with how you manifest. Um, your energy has everything to do with how you manifest. I found me being that when I'm happy, that's when I'm able to manifest the most. And, you know, my situation. So um, sometimes it could be hard to stay happy in my situation because um, of the energy. But I found ways to um, cope with it. And I'm going to share those ways with you in another video. But I just want to come on here and talk about what you think um, your mindset has. A, it, take, it, it takes a toll on you. You have to... It's, it, everything you think, everything you feel like affects your life. So always try to think positive. Always try to speak life into your situation. Even if your situation looks negative. Speak life into your situation. Speak words. In the Bible, it talks about um, the tongue and how you can either speak life or death. That's the same thing with your life. Sometimes we don't realize that we be cursing our own lives. Our people around us could be cursing us. When somebody say, you ain't going to never be nothing. Or you tell a person you're dreaming, they're going to be like, oh, that, that's not going to work. Those words in that person's energy of the feeling like they really, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, you're not going to be nothing. And they feel that energy. They can manifest that on your life. So be careful who you share your space with. If these people are not for you, if these energies and frequencies and all this stuff around you, the vibes is low, get from away from that. Because it ain't going to help with what you're trying to get into in your life. You have to be around people that's going to support you and love you. But let me see. Oh, I keep going because I'm like only six minutes. I told myself at least 15 minutes on the video. But um, but yeah, you guys. Um, so basically, I feel like um, love is the highest vibration. So try to surround yourself with people that um, people that love you and people that recognize your light. You know, sometimes we be around people that are like our um, family and friends that we know in all our life, but they don't, they drain us. They literally drain us. We have to be around people that's going to lift our spirits and make us feel good about our life. You know what I mean? So um, just stay positive, stay lifted, stay um, prayed up. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on. Do so y'all know I went to checkers the other day? This is random. I went to checkers the other day and went through the drive through and I'm expecting for a person to come out and be like, hey, um, how are you doing? What would you like to order? Like a person. Y'all, it was like a robot. Like this artificial intelligence is getting real. The world is changing. And we have to think about what we want for ourselves. We have to think about what direction in life we're going with, going to. And we have to think about the people that's around us that's going to be with us when we're doing these things. So think positive. Um, don't worry about the changes that's happening in the world. Just worry about keeping your vibes up through it all because change has to happen. Change has to happen. With Change is the only thing that's constant. Like change is a good thing. Don't look at it as a bad thing. We complain about, oh, the prices are going up. Well, that means your money got to go up. Oh, they switching this around and that around. What is that doing to you when you just complaining all the time? That's bringing your energy lower and lower and lower and lower. And you're going to keep attracting situations, people, places, and things that's going to make you feel lower and lower and lower. But if you speak positive, everything going to be all right. Everything is all good. Life is great. I'm thankful for this. I'm grateful for this. You speak like that every day, I promise you, it's going to show up around you in the most beautiful ways. It might not come like you want it right away, but if you be patient enough, everything that you think about, everything that you feel in your system about love and light and just um, having the best life ever, you can have it. It starts within here. Your energy is everything. So keep your energy up. Stay prayed up. Stay positive and be around people who really care about you and love you. Peace. I'm out. That was like nine minutes. But <laughs> but um, yeah, my next video. I know y'all, this is like really short, but I came back on YouTube. I came back on YouTube. So I want to stay consistent. So Wednesday, this is not going to take that long to upload either. So I said three days a week. I, I sometimes I speak too fast you guys sometimes I speak so fast that I say stuff and then I don't hold up to it so I gotta work on that I gotta work on like just blabbing my mouth so much but um I love y'all and somebody mentioned washing my daughter's hair with um how I deep clean it I actually want to try the black soap on her hair so that's what I'm gonna do 
And um, like I told you, I'm, I'm starting to become a little extroverted. I'm an introvert, um, but I need to, I feel like I'm both, but I feel like the, the extrovert is, which I probably see on the media, like y'all see like my personality on the media. But I feel like I want to show y'all like just my the different sides of me. Like I'm, a, I'm like very free spirited. I don't judge people and I like to have fun. So I want you guys to see all of my sides. Yes, I am Rasta. Yes, I will stay positive. But your girl about to have fun because um, she about to be single. So my single for me, I feel like it's already like beginning. But at the same time, I'm, I want to give myself the time to allow myself to be free and, and raise my vibes at this point because I have to manifest. And on the manifest, you have to keep them vibes up. So, peace, peace. I love y'all.